going on Muscular Development? I'm Steve Kukolo here with Dan Newmeyer. We're at Destination Killing Chest. We're five weeks out of the Arnold Brazil and looking forward to getting a good hard workout in today. Came off a 24-hour shift yesterday, and um, so train later in the afternoon. I've been training usually three or four um, o'clock. So I usually like to train with about two to three meals in me. Today I uh, got four, so it's, just wanted to have a good push to get through chest. Obviously, chest being a body part, I continually want to increase uh, to improve and, and get better. So today I wanted to have more meals behind it. Training with somebody like Dan, who's got an incredible chest. I mean, it's it, the guy's got a shelf. Um, so, picking up techniques from this guy and, uh, you know, watching form and he can critique my form a little bit because obviously, unless I'm watching the video as I train or something, you can't see yourself uh, form-wise. So, just switching hand position or rep range or uh, actually range of motion is, is makes a big difference when it comes down to uh, making the, the exercise more effective for me personally and actually anybody that, that does it. Some people could just look at uh, chest exercise and grow, but for me, you know, I got to take certain body parts out of it like my triceps or shoulders and continue to, uh, you know, work more just my chest. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Up, all day, all day, come on. Up. So far, prep's been going really well. Um, you know, I started my prep mid high 290, pretty much 300 pounds, and um, it's just been slow, kind of progressive changes, not doing anything drastic. Uh, you know, we, we started cardio at like 12 weeks out and just slowly kind of, you know, up that, um, increasing the intensity of cardio as I go along. Um, duration was about 30 minutes, and then it was about 40 minutes, and now I'm cutting in two sessions, 30 and 30, um, and it's, it's working well. Now it's called designed by Kyle Kavnar and his Kavnar Ultra Anti -catabolic, Catabolic Training Method. Anyways, the focus of this, the kind of point of Steve's workout, is to get more of his lower pectoral area, which he's got a great upper chest development. He's trying to get his lower chest to ca catch up to that. You know, I'm, I'm there's days where it's, you know, I'm burning a ton of calories and if I don't eat enough or, you know, we got to play with my carbs a little bit or I go flat, you know, that's one of the things that I get bigger as I mature and my metabolism increases. It's a constant battle of not going too far um, or losing too much too fast for me. So um, but that's one of my big battles. And then, uh, so my weight now sitting 280 low or high 270s it just depends and, and it's it, you know it, it's getting to that that crunch time where you know we're really starting to, to dry out and try to thin the skin and and uh, continue to, to keep the fullness as much as possible so it's that that in between game and looking forward to dialing it in that's always the, the fun and sometimes stressful part but it, it, it's cool to see the changes we're trying to build Steve some double D's Good. 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 Come on. Yeah, right there. Let's get it. We got good. 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 Hey. Good. Good job. Good job. Uh, today we started off heavy inclined bench press, 
Um, that's one of our bread and butter, so we like to start off really kind of get everything firing. And then um, we went to a variation we like to do with, uh, it's a hammer strength machine that we have kind of a unique piece here at uh, Destination. And, uh, I'll have Dan kind of explain a little bit of what, uh, kind of some of the form and, and different range that we do, because obviously I, we'll probably get a little bit of flack on our, the way we do some things or, or range of motion, but, but obviously <laughs> it's working for him. It's, I'm seeing some good progress and I'll have Dan explain a little bit. Well, first and foremost, I, I can't take credit for the extra exercise. It goes to uh, Kyle Kavnar, who's actually a personal trainer here at uh, Destination Dallas, who has a certain style of training, but we'll bypass that for right now. But uh, uh, it's just essentially a neutral grip, and uh, the range of motion is very, uh, very limited. Again, we're trying to, uh, I don't say disable, but remove tricep and shoulder. Again, Steve's shoulders are um, uh, mutated, out of control, and uh, they're one of the most dominant shoulders in the actual industry. And so, of course, why not use that muscle group during certain movements? And he, uh, it's hard to change a certain behavior when you've done it for so long and you're so strong at it. But uh, we're just trying to find a certain range of motion that uh, where uniquely for him, it seems to stick. And it seems to be in that range of motion where the large percentage of the movement is the, the chest or pectoralis muscle. So, trying to influence that and take away the other tag team muscle groups that may be um, helping more so in past or even present for right now. And it takes constant changes. And Steve's done the same thing with me in helping myself, you know, uh, adjust to certain movements where I'm recruiting more of the muscle I want to instead of just, you know, uh, hitting just a muscle. I mean, it becomes more than just lifting weights. It's about thinking about what you're doing. And that's what kind of separates bodybuilding from other uh, formats of lifting because you actually got to think about what you're doing and know what you're doing. So the range of motion is very limited. We're never locking out the joint. Um, and sometimes we do a lot of pause reps. So it's not 6,000 pounds on the bench press or something to, you know, we're not ego lifting at this point. It, it just basically comes down to muscle development. How much of that weight is the actual muscle we're trying to focus on moving that, that weight? And so again, we, we've done that with quite a few different exercises. And uh, that and the, the, the flat press, you can see we spend a lot of time with Steve uh, rolling his shoulder blades back, sticking his chest out, kicking down the range of motion so his shoulders are not as able to play a role. They're still going to be involved, but can we can we disengage them slightly? So that's the plan with those. We also went to a, a, a fly movement, which I, I coined it as a FLESS, F-L-E-S-S, -S, kind of like a fly press, whatever. Um, it's kind of a mix between those two in the movement. Um, I'm again, not very heavy, just trying to get more uh, chest out of the actual movement, less shoulder, um, less any kind of tricep movement too. So again, not a heavy movement, just kind of a, uh, very isolated, very intense, and then the range of motion. We're hunting for that deep muscle pain, not superficial, not ego lifting again, just trying to train and beat that muscle so it hurts essentially. Uh, from that point, you know, we, we went to, uh, we kind of comboed some stuff up, we used a, a short range of motion on the uh, fly again, just playing with stuff again. Sometimes, the fun thing about training is just playing with certain range of motion to see if it's, oh, that hurts this time. Um, sometimes, you know, for other people it does nothing. So again, that's the fun thing about it, is just trying and playing with different exercises. Because Steve's got a ton of exercise. This guy is smarter than he gives himself credit for and how he's learned and how he's done stuff. And he, he can help you understand that too. Getting a feel. We're just uh, testing different range of motions and kind of just figuring out our next exercise. But one of the things we're constantly doing is changing to feel the exercise more, whether it's the grip, whether it's the angle of basic exercises. We're constantly changing, shortening or lengthening the range of motion. So we're going to do a little little uh, variation here. There you go. Good, Steve. Good. 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 Come on. Good. Good job. Come on. Pain, pain, pain. Good. 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 Good lift with a certain muscle group it's it's actually hard to teach and actually hard to learn over time but um, that we had another fly movement I can our focus with Steve a lot of times is the lower chest trying to get that to fire he's building a shelf himself so don't listen to him talk about how he doesn't have it um, 
again, when he compares himself, you know, he's another planet. It's a mutant planet that he has, so his chest development is very, very, very good. We're just trying to get his chest development to be par with his shoulder development, par with his arm development, which are all super freaky, you know. So um, as he, he continues to grow, we got to remind ourselves he's only in his 20s, so, which is scary. It's simply scary. What is he going to look like when he's 34, 35? It's just going to be stupid looking. So, but again, he's, he's been training smart. He's, um, he, he doesn't really, you guys can see and people talk about uh, how much weight he's lifting. He's not even trying. You know, he's now depleted. The four plate incline that he just did was just normally a warm up on his, on his uh, normal days when he's full of energy. But understand, he's carpet bleeding right now, two day cardio. Energy's a little tight right now for him. So, but again, we're not trying to ego lift here, you know. Um, some people, that's what they do. They want to train that way. But, you know, this guy's in for the long run, you know. Um, this, is a, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint, so to speak. So uh, we know that we, injuries can happen any time. So take care of that body and, you know, keep injury free and train smart. Look to see you in the next, you know, five weeks. Hope in the next couple of days we'll do some more training vids. And uh, keep continuing going, he said, and keep this kid going, man. It's, 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 a, it's truly an amazing to watch this kid go. Well, looking forward, like Dan said, next couple of days we're gonna get some good training footage. Um, we, uh, you know, finished off our workout today, just a, a couple of fly. We did a cable fly variation, and then um, some a uh, little bit of a couple back movements. This should help open up the chest, and again, just it's kind of just stretching everything out. Sometimes on uh, workouts after uh, doing a lot of chest stuff, we uh, most of us bodybuilders are very upper shoulder, upper chest developed. We have what's called upper cross syndrome of development to move the shoulders anterior. So being that uh, most of us, I should say most of us, most of us that don't have uh, back, not including Steve, <laughs> we have to, uh, I include some back workout stuff to kind of counter our the antagonistic stimulus to this workout I just did. So again, if I had a more developed back, I probably wouldn't have as much anterior shoulder movement or interior shoulder uh, slide or whatever you would call it. So I do a lot of antagonistic stuff afterwards to try to create some more balance, more balance of what I've had. That's my, that's a theory. <laughs> and uh, finish with some abs. So at this point, you know, we're pretty, I'm pretty spent. Uh, Dan feels it too. And overall, I mean, I got some cardio tonight I'll hit at the house and just pretty much get a couple meals in and then be just relax so you know at five weeks out I feel good um, I'm, a, I'm very a, a motivated and excited to get on stage you know bringing the new package of 2014 had a, a short but effective off season and excited to you know get on stage with a lot of the, the you know young guys that are going to be at the uh, Brazil and a couple of the veterans and it's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to getting on that Brazil stage and you know meeting all the Latino fans out there, and, and the it, it's very exciting. So we're going to have the whole team and family down there, and then we'll see what happens from there. But the next few days, we're going to hit it in muscular development. This is Steve Kuklo, Dan Newmeyer, Nick Del Toro is the man behind the camera. Appreciate you guys coming out. We'll see you tomorrow.